Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to bite your neck. Ah, 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 ah. Let's count the ways of the bite. One bat. Two bats. Three bats. Boy, shut the fuck up about some bats. And want you put some Vaseline on them dry ass lips. Tales of Dracula, directed by Joe DeMiro, also written by Joe DeMiro and Thomas Rice. First off, where was Dracula? I, I was actually, I was really upset at this film at that situation. I mean, you got Dracula at the beginning played by the awesome... Uh, uh, Wayne W. Johnson and then you see him for a second then then during the middle of the film you see him for like a good three minutes and then you don't see him till then at the end of the film but it's called Tales of Dracula <sighs> how y'all doing by the way man it's been a long damn day um a bit about this film um you, you have Dracula and Dracula's wife and daughter gets killed by Von Helsing and the people that was hunting him. And Dracula fled for a while and no one haven't heard from him until now. So he found a new bride. And then that's when it gets crazy after that. But the thing is, you still don't see Dracula. Because I'm wondering, like, I'm looking at so many possibilities because uh, Wayne W. Johnson kills it as Dracula. I like his presence. His presence as any horror figure or whatever he always nails his part but the way it, he was used in his film i did not like it, it just bored me to death i was like oh my god bring on dracula dracula let's go and they tried to throw in they threw in wolfman in there and they threw in uh uh frankenstein but the idea is i wanted to see dracula and i did not get dracula um the acting was uh Besides uh, the guy that plays the Wolfman, he was awesome, and and Wayne W. Johnson was excellent as, as Dracula. But I, I just didn't understand why the fuck we didn't see him throughout majority of the film. The film made me wanted to hang myself and throw myself out the window while I listened to Metallica. One, oh my goodness, man, I could not take this film. I'm definitely not giving this movie a rating because I, I mean, if if you're gonna make a movie about tales of Dracula, let's stick to Dracula because you had the perfect person for that role, but you damn near didn't see him. And then when you did, you only got a piece of him. And that was the end of that. And my day is fucking ruined because my daughter's sick. My wife is sick. Valentine's Day just ran all into types of turds of shit out of the day. And I'm really trying to hang in there, y'all. You know, shit is just rough right now. You know, sickness is just taking people out like like sniper rifles. Just pew, pew, pew. You know, I, I just... I, <sighs> and also, they did the movie in black and white. So, I see this style that they was going for. It just... just, just epic fail man it just wasn't working I, I just just wasn't working I, it's like when I'm speechless I don't even know what to say because like when a film make you want to do that man it is all lost it is all over <sighs> don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about Tales of Dracula when you see it because I told you I thought about it don't want to say nothing else <laughs> I'm going to just keep it as that. I love you guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome Valentine's Day. And I will see you here at CML Entertainment.